Two Wants to Know is giving you a look at what happened inside Mount Tabor. Now, this right here is a Snapchat picture taken from inside a classroom at Mount Tabor. In all transparency, these are public pictures that are posted. Now, this was during the school lockdown. We do not know who took these pictures, but what we do know is what we're looking at in these pictures. So this is obviously a classroom and you can see the SWAT members there and they are having their guns drawn as they are walking down the hallway. Now, we all saw the police presence outside the school, but this this is finally a glimpse of what it looked like to staff and students inside the school. I want to show you a couple other pictures. Once all the rooms, the closets, the hallways were cleared by that SWAT team, students and staff were then moved into safer locations. So this is a Snapchat picture and then this one is as well of the safe locations which appear to be auditoriums and theaters full of staff and students. And you can see that the poster says this is Tabor and it's got that Snapchat filter of the location of Mount Tabor High School. Last thing I want to show you, this is a look inside the buses that the students were on. Now it took hours for students to be bused to the Coliseum to meet with their families. And you can see that they're all on the buses. Many of them are taking video outside the bus so that they can see what is going on. And what they're seeing is that it's getting a little dark outside. The police continue to line the streets. You can see the flashing lights everywhere. I mean, I just can't even imagine the mix of feelings of relief that the situation is almost over because they're going to see their families, but it's not really over with them still being under all of this police presence and the watch and the grieving process just beginning.